Sometimes when you're working on a big blade, you uh, sometimes snap the blade and then you wind up with two pieces. And this is a sort of a base piece from one I broke some time ago. And um, it's a good material. You don't want to just throw this away. But um, what I like to do is see how thin I can get these pieces and uh, make a point out of that. So what I like to do is sometimes uh, try to play a game, see how thin I can make this piece, and then make a point out of that thin uh, preform that I make from this. This piece used to be part of a big blade that was um, broken while I was trying to thin it down. And um, I don't want to just throw away half a blade. Um, so I, I decided to see how thin I could make this part of it. I've already taken the time to get rid of the square edge that was left at the break of the blade here. And I pressure flaked all along the edges until I got the edge to come out to a nice lens shape cross section all all over. Nice convexity on both sides. Now I need to um, get rid of the sharp edges by uh, abrading and dulling the edge, make some isolated platforms and see if I can knock off a few thinning flakes. And once I get it thin, I can make some kind of nice point out of it. So uh, I took a big broken blank and pressure flaked it to get the edges sharp and the blade as convex as I could get it. And carefully going along the edge and cleaning it up, get rid of sharp edges and little overhangs. Just uh, clean up the edge. And you want to make the edge thick enough so you can strike on it. And go all around. And don't worry about over grinding. We got copper here. I want every place along the edge to be a potential good spot to build a platform to strike a big flake. So if I decide I want a flake in a particular place, I can pick a place on the edge that's for the platform and I'm, I'm guaranteed I've got a place because every place along the edge is good. And um, all we need to do now is make some isolated platforms and start knocking off some big flakes. Let's do this one right here and we'll we'll go up the corner here and uh, make a nice big broad thinning flake there. This area pretty much already is kind of a nipple there but I'm gonna um, enhance the platform just a little bit with pressure flaking. Grind the nipple so that it's good and smooth and won't crush when I hit it. Got a one and a quarter inch bopper. Put my finger up here under the flake area. Knock a broad thinning flake off right there. That's a nice big flake. 
I need to finish. It didn't quite come out of there, so I need to help that get off of there. I see the crack going way up here, so I know it'll come off. There. All right. So that one, one flake has already taken a, a great big area off right here and got us much thinner through almost half of this blade with that one strike. Now I want to go to the other side and take off a big flake here to, to meet that and clean up all of that right there. So uh, go over here and make a nipple again. I've removed some of this area on the side here so I can make a nipple stand out there. I'm going to just run down this way. Put my finger up on the ridge. When I hit, I'm going to hit almost straight into the piece with a force directed just mostly in. The force is directed almost all inward, just a little bit outward. You don't have to hit super hard or fast um, once you've got an isolated platform like this many. Okay, ran up there. I took off more of a chunk there than I wanted to, but it's okay. All right, let's go up here and clean this, this end up here with a couple of blows from the corners up there. Let's see. So I'm going to make the flake come up through here. So on this same face, I need to uh, create a nipple by chipping out two little areas on either side of the middle where I want the flake to run. Okay, now I have a, a nipple made here where I can shoot a flake through here. Put my finger up on that ridge. Hit almost straight in, but not quite. Whoa! And that isolated platform, I mean, that flake went all the way, all the way pretty much edge to edge. Now, actually, it did, it went edge to edge. Went, stopped right there. Went all the way diagonal across the piece. That was good. So, um, making nipples on the corners of this piece and blasting across there and getting flat real quickly. You notice that leaves a ridge here kind of and there's a little bit one here. We'll be able to get that by hitting from the side. I'll go ahead and, and thin from this area right here. So we got nice 
uh, edge over here to work with that. <clears throat> well, actually, I want to um, shape this area a little bit so I can run just one flake right here. So we need to do a little trimming right there. Let's do a little bit of little bit of trimming. Okay, it was a blending flake that went right up into there. Now there's just a little bit of area here actually that needs a, a little bit of okay. So now we're we're much flatter on this side right here. A little bit of a uh, ripple right here. We'd like to get that with a flake from over here. So uh, I've got good edge over here to reach that area. So um, let's make a platform here and try to strike a big flake over this way. So I want the flake to run right through here. So I need a platform right there. So let's uh, chip on either side of that area there and make us a platform. Okay, so I've uh, chipped on either side of this ridge here and here, here and here. There's my nipple. I want to shoot a flake across here. Hopefully it'll run that ripple there and make this surface much smoother across right there. Grind that nipple good. You don't want the nipple to crush when you hit it with the copper. Okay, I'm going to hit just almost, almost straight in, but not quite, but mostly straight in and a little bit of an angle outward. We got it. We went all up under it. You know, that that area that had the ripple wavy thing in there, it's gone. Now I noticed there's a hinge right here. There's a hinge right here, but that's fine. We're going to be able to remove that. It's so close to the other edge. When we come over here later, we're going to get to be able to remove that. <clears throat> so we're getting a lot flatter on this side. We've got a little bit of a raised area here. We can just go ahead and knock that off. You don't need an isolated nipple for everything. There. Okay, well I've got a, a raised area here and there's a, a nice piece of edge right here to get that from. So let's make an isolated platform here and knock off this little area here. Got a nice old platform here, it's sticking out where I can smack it. I'm gonna go right in here and remove this step or hinge fracture right here. Gonna put the finger up there. 
Nice. Oh, that was absolutely perfect. <clears throat> this flake over here met where that one ended. So now we have a complete smooth surface all over the side there of this blade here. So let's work on the other side. It's, uh, it's still convex on the other side, but it's more flat on this side where we just took the big flakes off of. <clears throat> okay, let's uh, go around and clean up the edge. I want a uniform edge. Okay, I've done some pressure flaking on the side that we were first working to smooth out the surface all along that side. Now we want to prepare the edge a bit and try to strike, strike off some flakes across this side. This uh, base area here is still a bit thick, so I'm going to knock off this little thickness right here. Nice old thinning strike there on the basal area. That one dove in just a little bit. Not too bad. Got to get your angles right. You'll watch, uh, you'll have some flakes diving if you don't. <clears throat> okay, that side's pretty low profile. Let's go on the other side and uh, <clears throat> sticking up the edge and strike a few flakes off on that side. Okay, I've gone around the edge and thickened up the edge and ground on it, make it uniform and, and nice. Uh, I have a thick area here on the tip. This is going to be my base. This is my tip. It's a thick area up here. And uh, so I'm going to make a platform here and strike off this area here. I want to a nipple right here. I'm going to make a nipple right here so I can go right down the middle of this high area. Right down that way. Chip a little, little bit to the side. Okay, so I put two little chips on the same side as I want to run the flake, either side of the nipple, and grind the nipple down, get that nip nipple good and rounded, don't want anything sticking out 
or sharpness there that will cause a crushing start. Now, you should be able to see my, my nipple right here, and uh, I want to run this, this ridge right in, straight in from that nipple along that ridge. That flake, when I hit it, it's going to spread out a little bit and then run that ridge. hitting almost straight in with just a little bit of angle outward. Finger up on the flake area. <clears throat> well, I thinned more than just the tip. I went into the, the middle of it there, but that's fine. We're going to be able to re remove this hinge from the sides. So, uh, all right, that was a good, uh, a good flake. Let's go ahead and, and back on the other side. There's a little bit of a thick area on the tip here, so I'm going to go ahead while I got a little nice spot here. Get rid of that. There it goes. There. All right. Okay, so we got some mass down here and here that needs removing yet on either side of this area. So looking at this, I've got kind of a, a thick area right through there. So I want to build a nipple right at the base of where I want the flake to run. So uh, here's where I want to run. I put my nipple right there. I take out two little flakes on the same side as the flake is coming off. So I, I needed to make sure this nipple has clearance. I had to remove a little material right here, so I just took a little, a few pressure flakes right through there. But I'm trying to get this nipple isolated and, and where it stands out, and I don't um, hit accidentally on some other place. So uh, I need to uh, get this nipple ground down good make sure there's plenty of isolation okay so I want a, a flake that's broad and comes a, at least about halfway <clears throat> put my finger up in this area here and this blade is against my finger back here. So I got back support here and pressure up here. <clears throat> nice, nice broad flake there. Okay, so um, it came out in a, uh, 
ends right about here. That's fine. That's way over halfway. Um, we don't care about hinges that happen after they get past halfway because you can go to the other side and either pressure flake or percussion out those hinge fractures from the other side. You want to thin down the, the ends before the middle so uh, there's some thickness down here. Let's try to drive that off this way so we don't lose any length. So let's make us a nipple right here on the base to uh, run this area through here. Okay, so you can see where I made a nipple here. I want a flake run this way. I got two little flakes, or at least two flakes, but sometimes more. But I've got flakes running either side of the nipple on the same side, uh, flaked out on the same side as I want the flake to run. Grind that nipple. <clears throat> Hit mostly in, but a little bit out. <clears throat> to get an anvil on a piece like this, I Rest the rest. I can rest the blade on this finger here. I've got this uh, spongy tape on my fingers to protect my fingers. It's a real good uh, rubbery tape. So I rest the blade, back of the blade on that, and I hold the flake down here with my middle finger. Hit in and out. Okay, that's all right. Had to really thin that basal area down. Good. Right through here. So um, there's a hinge here, but remember it's more than halfway. We come over here, we can strike across there and, and get rid of it. So uh, let's make a place here to strike and go right through this, just a little bit of flake right here. All we need is a little, little flake. <clears throat> it's worth a little extra time on when the piece is getting thin, make those nipples more perfect. I'm building a nipple right here on the edge to go across this thickness right here. So I chip away this way then chip away this way <coughs> either side of the nipple on the same and the flake pops out this way on the same face that I want the big flake You want to sometimes flake behind the nipple. Make sure it's standing out correctly. Okay, I've got to 
grind it down and reshape it just a little bit more. Usually I can recognize when it's right. Do a little grinding. Not running real far with this flake. I'm just making sure that it it's properly formed and it feathers out right here. So this one I'm not going to strike in so much. I'm going to strike out a little more. I caught a little bit too much of that with the bopper, but all of this flake surface in here is still fine. So, um, all right, that's just, um, we got a couple of more flakes here we can take. I'm going to just, they're short flakes, so I'm just going to take them off here with a crushed over here a little bit. Probably should just finish up with pressure now. Well, it's, it's a little place there I can get. Okay, let's do a little pressure on that and then see what our width to thickness ratio turns out to be. Okay, so I've kind of went around pressure flaking with the deer antler. I like how the antler is able to get really nice thin edges. <clears throat> so we got a nice little blade out of that. It's uh, it's very lenticular in cross section, and uh, it's it's not too thick through here through the middle. And I've got enough width on there to make a nice little point here of some kind. But we really thinned down the point by going around and making platforms and striking off big thinning flakes. And then um, going around pressure flaking. <clears throat> now we can turn this into almost anything. We can make a corner notch point or... Um, Side knot point be nice. Anyway, thanks for watching.